At what point do you become a professional project manager? That's something I was wondering when I was talking with a client and thinking about some of the people in their organization. And I want to share some of my conclusions with you. Let's start with an easier question. What do we mean by professionalism? Now, it may not be easy to define in a short, pithy sentence, but we can recognize many of the characteristics of professionalism, like ethical behavior, diligence, consistency, thoroughness, and being an expert. But anyone can conduct themselves in that way. You don't have to be a true project management professional. And it's also true that a committed professional can act from time to time in an unprofessional way. The conclusion I've come to is that we become a professional when we make a choice. We choose to adopt the mindset of a professional. And there are many things that distinguish the mindset of a professional from the mindset of an amateur. I want to focus on three of them. The first one is about learning and mastery. An amateur mindset is one about being good enough, learning enough to be able to achieve results, to impress people and to enjoy what you're doing. But no professional would ever settle for that. There's never a point where you've learned enough. As a professional, you keep on wanting to know more, learn more, try more, experience more, hone your level of mastery. Professionals seek out feedback to learn from and see failure as steps in their learning process. They don't see learning something as an endpoint. They see it as a kicking off point for further honing their craft. My second distinction is deeper thinking. Amateurs tend to be content with seeing things at the surface level. Professionals need to understand more deeply what is going on and see through the complexity of things. Professionals often see simple cause and effect connections as a superficial explanation of something more subtle and more complicated. Amateurs are quick to take the credit for their successes. Professionals have a far clearer understanding of the interaction between success on the one hand and its contributors, preparation and fortune. Amateurs think that their success comes because they did something right. Professionals see success or failure is the result of a complex interaction of factors. They never take success for granted. Finally, Professionals take a far longer view than amateurs. For a professional, the end result is far more important than being right, than making progress. They see setbacks as steps on the way. They see progress as conditional upon future events. Therefore, a long view informs all of the thinking of a true professional. They've learned the lesson of patience, and they recognize the futility of blame. Understanding is far more important. They take their time. They build infrastructure. They build capabilities. They prepare. They plan. They set the scene for future success rather than rushing into action. And when there's a setback, professionals address it. And then they get straight back to building. The amateur mindset would give up. None of these choices are easy. But if you plan to have a long term sustainable project management career, you need to embrace all of them. Doing that will be pivotal, but it will be only the start of a new phase of your journey and not the end point. Being a professional is a process, not a status. Are you ready to start that journey? Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be creating loads more great project management content for you. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it.
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.